welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel today we are going to look at connective tissue connective tissue all right let's start when you talk about connective tissue it means that these tissues they connect um one body part to another one so there must be a connection it might not be physical or it might be physical if you look at blood cells you'll find out that blood cells they transport um, oxygen from lungs to other parts of the body what does it mean they connect the lungs to other parts of the body so they are connective tissues or it could be a neuron whereby it connects the lower part of the leg to the brain. So in that case, it's like physical is continuous. All right, let's look at them in detail. I'm made up of similar or different specialized cells. If you look at bloody cells, they have different specialized cells. You have the red blood cells, you have the white blood cells, you have the platelets. So all those are blood cells. If you look at the neurons, you have different types of neurons. Most have most, it means that not all of them may contain fibers or they may not contain. Number one, they may have what called particular fibers. I say that matrix is like, um, it's like a fluid, but a thick one. If you look at porridge, when you are making a pup, you first make that porridge. That porridge, if you look at it, it is, it is like a matrix. So number one, the number two, it has what called a white collagen. Does it mean that we have other colors of collagen? Yes, we have different kinds of collagen. So we have the white collagen. This one is very important for strength. It means that is it, it brings about, it makes the, the muscles to be what? Strong. Number three, we have the yellow elastic fibers. It means that they can extend it. That's why we are saying that very important for stretching. They can extend. So let's look at the different types of connective tissues. Number one, we have what called the adipose tissue. This one is like fat. And if, if you are thick, it means that you have a lot of adipose tissue. Number two, areola. So those spaces, in case of the tissue, are being filled up by areola uh, tissue. Number three, we have what called a cutlet. We're going to look at these uh, cells um, nicely. If you look at your ears, eh, some of you can touch your ear and you feel it. Uh, as you go up, up, you'll find out that this, this ear has some fibers. So it means that uh, that is an example of uh, a cartilage. Then number, another one is number four is the bones. Your bones, these bones are tissues. They have cells. Although they are too hard, but they have what you call cells. So these cells, they can grow. Blood is also tissue. It has different, because you say that a tissue is a collection of cells performing a common function or performing a special function. The last one is the fibrous. These ones are called the tendons and the ligaments. Tendons, they attach muscle to a bone and then ligaments, they attach a bone to a bone. What are some of the functions of connective tissue? Number one, for giving structure, shape, and strength. Number two, they're very important in protecting. Number two, it insulates. If you look at adipose tissue, yes, it's very important for protection. If you look at the kidney, the, the, the heart, they have some facts. On, on, on those organs. Why? It's just for protection. That's why you find out that you find out that during winter, yeah, big people are, 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 are nice. Why? They don't lose heat too much. Why? Because they have a, a lot of fats on their, on their body. So it, it, what does it mean? It means that you don't lose too much heat. But small bodied people, yo, 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 you see how much they eat in the winter. Why? Because they lose a lot of, a lot of heat. And then packing, this is packing tissue or storage. Then uh, attaching, if you look at the tendons and the ligaments, 
transport if you look at the uh, blood cells. Then reduce friction. Do you know the reason why your gogos or your mukulus, uh, th 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 those grandfathers and mothers, they have pain in the legs, in the back, everywhere where there is a joint is because the protective uh, part of the bone which prevents friction, yes, is no longer there. Is no longer what? Is no longer there. So now the, 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 the bones, they rub each other. So you end up having some pain because the friction is there. It means that the bone rubs with another bone and then you end up having some pain. Then another one is saying blood, um, blood cells are very important in transportation. We saw that they are very important in transportation of substances. It could be food, it could be hormones, it could be enzymes, it could be uh, gases and excretory products. You have wastes in, in, in your blood. Your blood is not clean. Your blood is what? It's dirty. That's why you have to slaughter an animal. You leave the blood to go out. And then you eat the meat without too much blood. Why? Because the blood is not clean. It has a lot of waste. What are some of the types of connective tissue? Number one, you have the loose connective tissue. Sometimes we call it alveolar. Then it's very important when they excrete substances, they go into this alveolar space. Then number two, you have adipose tissue. If you are fat or if you are thick or if you are big or whatsoever terminology you use, but as long as you understand what I'm saying, it means that in, uh, in your body, you have this kind of cells. What they do, they have fats. You see, they have uh, spaces where they can allow the fats to be in, you see, fat droplets. So it means that if you stay for long, uh, if you look at... Um, People who are a little bit thick and people who are very small, you'll find out that, or thin, uh, I don't know, because the opposite of thick is thin, okay? If you are thick and thin, yes? If you are fat or you are thick, you can stay for a long period of time without dying if you don't eat. Well, if you are too small, it means that you have less, less fat which can produce energy for survival. And then you die fast. So the function of fat is just to produce energy and also insulate the body from losing a lot of what? A lot of heat. Then another one, you have the dense connective tissue. If you look at them, eh? um, uh, if you look at the tendons, uh, they, 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 they have this kind of, of, of tissue. They are dense, they are strong. They bring about uh, uh, connecting one part of the, of the body with another. Then you have the cartilages. Cartilages, I told you an example of your, your, your ear. So uh, that is cartilage, and then you have the, the bone. You see the bone, how it looks like when it grows? It looks like this. It has these cells. These are the cells, you see? So it is in circles. And then you have blood cells. You know, you have white blood cells, you have red blood cells, you have platelets, and then you have plasma. Plasma is just a, like a fluid. So these are the connective tissues. They connect different parts of the body. Let's look at nerve cells. Uh, I asked you a question last time that... Um, what is the reason when I pinch you on your hand, you use your eyes to cry? Why do you use your eyes to cry? Have I pinched the eyes? And remember, crying is very important. You need to cry sometimes. Imagine you spend your whole life without crying. Yeah, sometimes, that's why sometimes God gives you some problems so that you can cry a bit. It is your own benefit. It means that there must be some wires which are connected in your body. Those wires which connect, which connect in your body, we call them, we call them nerves. So, nerve tissue. You need to know the following, receptor. When I say hello, you hear me. How did you hear me? It means that there is something which has received my sound. So that's that part of the body which receives any change in the environment, maybe sound, maybe pressure. When I touch you, it means that I've increased the pressure. So it means that a receptor, it receives. Oh, sometimes we call it sensory cells. 
So it senses the change in the environment. Number two, effector. So when you receive, you react. When I call you, are you in a class? You tell me, yes, I'm in a class. So it means that when I call you, you receive with the ears, so the ear becomes the receptor, but use the mouth to reply. So it means that the mouth becomes an effector. It means that it brings about the effect. The nerves are made up of cells called neurons. We call them neurons. Yes? Uh, okay, a, a nerve is like a wire. If you look at a wire, it's a, a solidum, yes? Inside they have some small wires. So each wire, each small wire is called a neuron and each big wire is called a nerve. So that's the difference. So when I say a neuron, then I mean that small, 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 small wire inside a big wire. So neurons, so when I tell you draw the structure of a neuron, then it means that I want that small, 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 small wire. So nerves are made up of neurons. It means that nerves are made up of many, 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 many small, small neurons. Types of neurons or nerves. There are three types of neurons. You're going to study this in grade 12 nicely and you enjoy the study. Number one, sensory neuron. It means that this one is connected to the sense organ. Your eye, you see. What does the eye see? It means that uh, the eye is a, is a sensor, is a receptor. It receives. It receives what? It receives the light. Do you see in darkness? Someone is going to say yes. What do you see in darkness? You're going to say you see darkness. <laughs> uh, do you see in darkness? You, you don't see in darkness. Why? Because there is no light. So it means that the eyes are very important in receiving light. So they call impulse. Impulse is the message inside. Eh? Yeah, you can't feel it, but sometimes you feel like things are, are moving within your body. They carry impulse, they carry the message, an electrical message, they carry the electricity in these wires. From the receptor, for example, the eye, the central nervous system, that is the brain or the spinal cord. That's what they do. The second type of neuron is the moral neurons. This one now, what they do is they carry the neurons, so they carry the impulse, they carry that electrical message from the central nervous system, that is the brain or the spinal cord, yes, to the muscles or glands. So that now, oh, you can now uh, reply to me. Your muscles can, if these neurons are not there, it means that you can't speak. You cannot speak at all. Why? Because there is no connection with the brain. Glands, they produce hormones. Uh, connector, it connects these two. You need to know these three types of neurons. Let's look at them. How do they look like? Structure of uh, a neuron. Cell body, it has the cell body, major component, cell body, dendrites, and then axons. Cell body, it is this one. Yes? It's where the nucleus is. It has the cytoplasm. And then it has the dendrite. Dendrite uh, is that part which brings information to the cell body. And then he has the axon, is that part which takes away information from the cell body. So this is the axon, and then this is that, the dendrite, and then this is the cell body. All right, then uh, the, the nucleus controls the activities. This one we say that brings information to the cell body. Then the cell body releases the information and then takes it to other parts of the body. Then it means that the muscles are being connected here. So let's look at uh, these uh, cells in detail. Neurons can be unipolar, bipolar, or multipolar. Number one, the unipolar, that's the sensory. Then the bipolar, that's the interneuron. And then we have the multipolar, that is the moral neuron. So let's look at this sensory inter and then moral in detail. So number one, you have the unipolar. Why do we say uni? Uni means one, and the polar means sides. So we are looking at this in terms of, in terms of, um, of the cell body. So how many, how many parts which connect the cell body? It's only one, you see? It's only this part here. Yeah, it's only one. It's only this part here. And then if you look at bipolar, this is the cell body. It has this side, yes? It has this side and also has this side. Bi means two, two sides. So it has this side and then it has this side. So it's bipolar. Then multipolar, you know, you see, it has a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then also has this. 
So that's why it's called the Mount Polar. Mount Polar because the cell body is connected with so many extensions. Bipolar because the cell body is connected with only uh, two extensions. And then here uh, is unipolar because the cell body is connected with only one extension. So that's how you can differentiate among the cells. So uh, lastly, uh, what are some of the functions of the nerves? Number one, pick up the changes. So it means that when I say hello, you say hello, it means that sound has been picked up and then it's supposed to be taken to maybe the brain. Number two, manage uh, the physical, mental, and regulate the activities. You can manage, you can use Use your brain to, to manage. You can write fast or slowly. So it's all about of, uh, these nerve cells because they are supposed to send the information from the brain and then to the hands. And then you start writing very fast. Send signals between the receptors and effectors. Between the receptor and effector. I see a lion coming. So the muscles are supposed to start contracting so that you run away from the lion. So it means that the eyes are connected to the effector, which are the muscles. And then another one is chemical coordination. This one is very important uh, when you're talking about growth, reproduction. This marks the beginning of the end of uh, animal tissue. And then the next time we're going to look at plant tissue.